Today in this video I'm going to show you how to fix Windows failed to load because the NLS data is missing or corrupt error code 0xc000007b. So how to fix this problem very easily. You can easily fix this problem only if you have some knowledge about computer to fix it. First switch off the computer and take out the CPU cabinet. Then open the cover of the CPU cabinet. After opening the cover of the CPU cabinet, first you open the SATA cable from the hard disk, here my SATA cable is blue, but yours may be red, then open the power cable of the hard disk. Clean the hard disk SATA cable and SATA power cable with a clean cloth like mine. Clean the SATA cable and power cable well. After cleaning the SATA cable and power cable, or changing the new SATA cable clean the area of the port where the hard disk SATA cable and power cable are attached with a cotton cloth or rubber, follow me the way I do. After thoroughly cleaning the hard disk SATA port, insert the hard disk's power cable into the hard disk. Thereafter connect the SATA cable to the hard disk. After attaching the hard drive SATA cable and power cable to the hard disk. Then the SATA cable is connected to the motherboard. Open the SATA cable and connect another SATA port. After making all connections, slot and turn on the computer by pressing the power button. After the computer is turned on, the computer will be turned on without any problem. There is another way you can fix this problem very easily. The first thing you need is a bootable pen drive. I am showing another computer how to fix it, but this computer is showing the same problem. To make a bootable pen drive, note that the OS you have installed on your computer will be bootable on the pen drive. My bootable pen drive is already made, you can make it too, you can see how to make it by clicking on the link i button and see the video. Insert the computer into the bootable pen drive then restart the computer. After the computer restart, in order to access BIOS setup on a Windows PC, you must press your BIOS settings setup key. Set by your manufacturer which could be F10, F2, F12, F1, or Dell button. Once the BIOS setup is open, select the pen drive you created with the bootable pen drive. And press the enter key. After selecting the pen drive, your Windows computer will boot. Before you fix it yourself you must know about computer, and after watching this video if computer is any other problem then it is your fault. Choose your language setting, and then click next, then click on repair your computer. After clicking repair your computer, system recovery options is searching for the problem. See for yourself the problem here is find your computer startup options. Showing your computer repair and restart here, you can restart the computer by clicking repair and restart. After the computer restarts, you boot the computer for the second time with your bootable pen drive, just like I booted the computer before. In the same way, by repairing your computer, this position came. Then when the system recovery options come up, click on Windows 7 and then click on next button. Now your computer system is recovering the file. Startup repair problem will take a little while to solve. After a while the startup repair option will show system restore. You will just click the restore button. The computer will take some time to be repaired. After the computer is repaired, a window will pop up and it will say restart your computer. Is complete the repairs. Showing this windows pop up means that your windows repair the problem that was being shown at startup has been fixed. Then click to finish button. After clicking the finish button, the computer will restart. When the computer restarts, the computer will turn on again. As soon as it starts, you must open the bootable pen drive and let the computer boot, you will see that the computer will start without any prop. This way you can fix the computer too. If you like this tutorial, after watching my video, please like the video. If the computer is still the same problem, be sure to visit a computer expert or a nearby computer repair shop. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.